We're here at the Navy Pier in Chicago, and we're here for the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, and the theme this year is Flower Tales. Every garden has a story. That's what we're going to find out, what the story is with these gardens. So pretty excited to see how they do all this indoors. You're allowed to come and go as you please throughout the day, as long as you have your hands stamped when you leave. Donna, what do they have here today? It says 20 plus inspiring gardens, kids gardens, activities, home and garden marketplace, and gourmet cooking demonstrations. Ooh. Flower tales. Cool. It's our first time. So let's go see it. And as you first walk in, this is garden number one, garden trilogy. They have recorded crickets here. I like how they have different books spread throughout the garden. There's some children's classics. And the whole walkway is lined with books. I like that one, Snow White and the Seven Garden Gnomes. And this is Bernie's book bank. They collect books for at-risk children in Chicagoland. Wow, I wish our backyard looked like that. Yeah, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not a real lawn guy. A little book tree. They're really unique plants. All the plants, trees, and flowers are marked so you'll know what you're looking at. Like for instance, I don't know for sure what this tree is. And it says here it's a firebird sergeant crabapple tree. Very pretty. And one of the first things you see when you come in is this Wizard of Oz display and a Flower Tales Subaru. And of course the Subaru is a Forester. Fits in real good. Garden number two is Forrester's Outbacks Legacies, oh my. There's the big Emerald City backdrop. Garden number three is Aqualand. One of the nice things about the Flower and Garden Show is that you can see all these different plants and landscaping ideas and see what you would like in your own yard. here a few tables you can get some wine and coffee some chips in garden number four every garden has a story to tell but ours has a secret who made it Donna the students of the Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences looks like designed it oh cool and here's an entrance right here the Chamber of Secrets has been opened enemies of the air beware there's a cutout in the wall there and steps going up to it. And Alice will greet you as you go into the secret garden. Once upon a time. Hi, how are you doing? This gives you directions to everything in Wonderland. Rabbit hole, Tweedledee this way, tea party, and the Cheshire Cat. And here is the Mad Hatter's tea party. There's the Queen of Hearts and the White Rabbit. This is the story of Alice in Wonderland. When you can't look on the bright side, I will sit with you in the dark. And this is from the Daily Prophet, Harry Potter, Undesirable Number One. And it has all the Harry Potter house flags, house banners. Those look like the rings from Quidditch. And there's Ron Weasley's car in the tree. There's Ron, he looks a little worried. Welcome to our secret garden. We are all mad here. This part of the secret garden is a hobbit hole and built a little stream into the display too. Number five is the floral market. You can take home some fresh cut flowers with you. Take a little picture area here. There are some oriental lilies, tulips, and some hydrangeas. And you can get your tulips in a tulip vase. I didn't know what these were and they are Bells of Ireland. They have some Mr. and Mrs. Bouquets. Yeah, I really feel ignorant walking around here because I don't know what hardly anything is, but Donna knows her flowers. Those look like a violet, but it says it's a purple campanula. This is a good place to come while it's still winter and you can smell some fresh flowers and makes you think of spring. Six is sculpture in the garden. This garden is when you walk around instead of walking through it. And in each section there's different flowers along with a different sculpture. And what's a garden without insects? 
kind of goes together. Number seven is Women's Journeys in Fiber. That box is a little scary. That's Pandora's box. Oh, look at all the blue mermaids. Number eight is Sights and Sounds to Delight Your Senses, Leap into Spring. So it's named after the children's book, The Frog and the Toad Are Friends. This garden consists of an outdoor living area, a raised garden, a fish feeding area, a fire bowl, and a large umbrella. Well, let's go feed the fish. They have displays of different types of landscape lighting. This would be something amazing to have in your backyard. Number nine is Pathways and Passages. This shows how they might design a space. This is the family room, eating area, washing, windows, cooking areas, garage. They've just completely transformed this indoor area for the flower and garden show. There's sod and rocks and trees and plants everywhere. And Donna, what's number 10? Tablescapes competition. The theme for this one is Beauty and the Beast. You know, the red roses and dark colors. The Living Library. This one's a dinner at Honeydew's. This is out of Harry Potter. There's some chocolate frogs. The theme on this one is Alice in Wonderland, a mad tea party. The theme here is Thumbelina, Jungle Book, Let Them Eat Cake. This is the Secret Garden. This is from Chicago Hauntings Ghost Tours. This is number 12, the Window Box Competition. There are several seminars scheduled throughout the day that you can attend going on at different times so you can catch different people, different subjects. There's meat on the pizza or some onions. Um, but when a dog goes in and they smell that pizza, they are going to smell the crust, the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni, all independent of each other as one picture. This is Garden A. It's the How to Garden area. This is a potting party. To give you that visual, some people have a corner shot where the plant goes, so they only see it from the front side. So you can decide which way you want to play. This is number 11, the tulip extravaganza, and they are not kidding. Towards the back of the hall is the marketplace area. There's all kinds of vendors here who can purchase products from and see what they've got to offer. And at the very back of the room is the food court. Our grandson would love this to get that close to a digger as he would call it. 13 is the butterfly garden. There's an enclosed area there with butterflies inside. We'll go in carefully so we don't let anything out. Oh, wow, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. They really like you. <laughs> Several butterflies flying around loose. You just get them to get on the paintbrush and then you can put them on your hand. Aww. There's nectar in the paintbrush. And then you move them from the paintbrush over to your fingers. 14 is the racing zoo. Like a tarantula, giant roaches. <laughs> I this artist and buy our animals at the zoo. Oh, wow. And our cup. 
cockroaches, which are over there, actually painted this one. That's it's pretty good for a cockroach. I it? know. It's got um, some talent. We wanted to get the tote bag. Oh. This is my bag that we purchased today, and it was actually painted by a giraffe. Fifteen is the story of diversity. This was designed by Stevenson Elementary School in this play area. Diversity is a beautiful thing. What did you find, Donna? I call them an Easter flower, hyacinths, but they don't last very long, but they really smell good. Yeah, that smells good. I... 16 is the People's Gas Safety Garden. Call before you dig. This shows a garden or plants planted just above some power and water lines. 17 is the Photo Competition Lounge. We've got some beautiful photos of plants and flowers. And hummingbirds. 18 is the Whole Foods experience. Whole Foods has a little market here. And in Garden B, there's a kids' activity garden. This is the junior excavator training. You can dress up in hard hats and safety vests like the real NICOR gas employees. And when you dig in the dirt, you may even discover buried treasures. Donna's becoming a junior excavator. Or in her case, a senior excavator. <laughs> I'm not sure she knows what she's doing. What are you digging for? And next to Garden B, there's a kids' activities area. You can make a caterpillar. You can grab a rock and you can use a stencil to color on your rock. Donna's got a ladybug she's working on. And there's the stones you can use to play tic-tac-toe. And over here, they're making paper plate butterflies. There's a lot of kids potting plants right now, and that's a free activity. Here's a cockroach drag strip. You're just supposed to get that way. You're supposed to get that way. Just start doing it. <laughs> She's better at this than me. Uh, I'm catching up. Uh, oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Mine's giving up. Move on. There we go. Move Getting on. close to the end. Donna won. Yay. Donna won. I see that one all that bad, was it? No. Now you gotta no. kiss the race car driver. No. <laughs> And this guy, you think for as big as he is, he'd go like but he gangbusters. Like he, he don't like to run. He's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> this table, they have edible insects. You can eat a bug. I ate a cricket. It was good. We're going to go through the marketplace now and see what they've got there for sale. Oh, nice outdoor grill over here, Donna says. We need a new grill. I don't know if we need one that nice. We've got everything for sale. You can buy seeds, bulbs, dahlias, lily of the Nile, rhubarb, Oreo Twinkies, regular dipped Twinkies and chocolate. It has nothing to do with gardening, but it's my favorite booth. Some zinnias. Oh. It's got some free seeds. Oh, if you're tired of walking around, you can try one of the world's best massage chairs. Just a little bit of everything related to gardening and not related to gardening. Just related to buying. They're getting ready for the cooking demonstration at 1.30. Please give a big round of applause to Michael Spiewak for the Heritage. Today what we're doing is a ricotta cavatelli uh, with spring vegetables. Um, this is something all these vegetables are coming into season right now. <laughs> Sorry. We had a good time at the Chicago Flower and Garden Show. Uh-huh. Yeah. Got to do a lot, <laughs> see a lot, smell a lot. Now it's back out to the cold, yeah. the cold, the winter. Yeah. So we felt like we had a little bit of spring, but now it's back to winter. So if you get a chance, come to the Flower and Garden Show in Chicago. Bye! Bye! And before we left town, we had a chance to see the Green River in Chicago for St. Patrick's Day. Pretty awesome. <laughs>